Ukrainian drones destroyed Russian miracle weapons depot FOBs. The Russian Air Force drops up to 3,000 adjustable KAB bombs on the Ukrainian positions on the front line every month. That is why on April the 27th, Ukraine sent dozens of long-range drones to an airbase in the south of the Russian Federation and blew up a warehouse full of smart kits for cabs. Forbes reported video and satellite imagery from the aftermath of the attack on Kushchayovskaya airbase 200 kilometers from the front line in southern Ukraine depict burned out buildings and heaps of wrecked cabs. The overhead imagery may also hint at the destruction of at least one Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bomber, the Russian Air Force's primary cab carrier. To change the balance of firepower, you will need much more than one raid on bases with air bombs. Ukraine's ability to damage Russian tactical aircraft, especially those using adjustable bombs, will be key for defense, the UK Ministry of Defense noted. Since the middle of last year, the CAB has been the Russian Air Force's primary aerial munition. The bomb's rough analogues of the US-made Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range and French-made Hammer Glide Bombs both of which arm the Ukrainian Air Force's own fighter bombers, range 25 miles on pop-out wings. They help keep Russian jets outside the range of Ukrainian air defences. Each cab packs hundreds of pounds of explosives. The explosion leaves a crater 6 metres deep and about 20 metres wide. All buildings and structures simply turn into a pit after the arrival of just one cab, wrote Igor Sugar, a trooper with the Ukrainian 3rd Assault Brigade. The cab is a miracle weapon for the Russians, Ukrainian analysis group Deep State noted. And the Ukrainians have practically no countermeasures, except perhaps to blow up the sheds where the Russians store the bombs before loading them for a piece onto their Su-34s. It's unclear exactly which drones the Ukrainians flung at Kuchayovskaya. They've got options, including ex-Soviet spy drones with warheads in the place of their cameras, modified hobby drones packing pounds of TNT, and pilotless short planes with bombs under their bellies. Be that as it may, this attack was a large-scale one. The Russian Federation reported that 66 drones were shot down, but not all. One definitely hit, probably the main goal of the raid, a barn full of cab bombs. By destroying perhaps dozens of bombs, Ukrainian drone operators gave their comrades at the front a short respite, a day or so. But many more raids on Russian bases will be needed to significantly limit the Russian attacks on the cabs in the long term. Nepalese mercenaries desert Russian army in droves. Nepalese mercenaries are deserting the Russian army en masse due to ill treatment and heavy losses. The press service of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported on this. It is noted that Russia's mercenaries from Nepal deployed in Ukraine are deserting the Russian army in droves. Russia has been reportedly recruiting foreigners from such countries as Nepal, Somalia, India, Cuba and others to fight in Ukraine from the very beginning of the full-scale invasion. Moscow uses them as cannon fodder on the front without preparing mercenaries for combat activities, said Petro Yatsenko, a spokesperson of Ukraine's coordination headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war. The Nepalese soldiers assigned to military unit number 29328 of Russia's armed forces are deserting due to heavy losses, non-payment of salaries and commanders' abuse, including executions, for refusing to follow orders, according to Ukraine's military intelligence agency. The agency published an alleged list of soldiers and profiles of some mercenaries. The Russian military has mostly failed at finding fleeing mercenaries in the occupied territories of Luhansk Oblast, where the military unit was deployed, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said. In reports to the top leadership, Russian commanders claim that an earthquake in Nepal was the reason for mercenaries' desertion, according to the agency. Getting from occupied Luhansk Oblast back to Nepal alone is not an easy task. In addition, Nepalese citizens may face prosecution in their own country for participating in hostilities against Ukraine as part of the Russian army, military intelligence said. Over 18,000 soldiers of the southern military district have abandoned their posts with around 12,000 of them belonging to the 8th Combined Arms Army, a unit often deployed in hostilities in eastern Ukraine, Ukraine's military intelligence said. The Nepalese government asked Russia to send back hundreds of Nepalese citizens who were illegally recruited by Russia to participate in the Russian-Ukrainian war. 
The Nepalese government has also asked Russia to repatriate the bodies of those who died. Nepal's Foreign Minister Narayan Prakash Saud said that the Russian army had recruited more than 200 Nepalese citizens to fight in Ukraine and at least 14 of them were killed.